how to get rid of German cockroaches. Grandma's porch. Sit down, relax, enjoy. Here on Grandma's porch. How to get rid of German cockroaches. German cockroaches. <laughs> Hello, y'all. I'm Diana Brienne. So what in the world is Diana Brienne talking about today? German cockroaches. Cockroaches. Well, you know, I talk about just about everything. You name it, I talk about it. I think I have 3,800 videos up here on this channel, Diana Brienne Fairchild. I have five channels, so if you're not connected to all five channels, the links are pinned to the top of the comment section below, and you can connect with each one, and likely I will connect back with you with each one if you do it the right way. So anyhow, I was out on my run today, and I was thinking about, you know, I talk about so many different topics, and I try to talk about topics that pertain to people's lives. I don't give advice. I don't give suggestions. I just share with you my perspective, my opinion, and how I do things and how I live my own life. And so I wanted to talk about German cockroaches. Well, where did that subject come from, German cockroaches? Or the subject of cockroaches? Bugs. <laughs> Well, I'm going to tell you what happened and my experience. Okay. Well, first of all, like I said, I'm not an expert at this. I am just somebody who's been through this. And um, not too long ago, I went out to a restaurant and I was sitting at the restaurant, very nice restaurant, one of my favorite restaurants. And, um, and it wasn't, you know, here, around here, anything like that. So this is what happened. I was sitting there and I opened up my napkin and out popped a German cockroach. Yes. Oh my gosh. My, one of my favorite restaurants and here they had German cockroaches. And I have heard that some restaurants get them. Some restaurants get them. And how I found that out is I was talking to a bug man, a person who does that kind of work. Um, exterminator and they said that you know quite a few restaurants get them quite a few places of businesses even grocery stores can get them doctors offices can get them and so that was my uh, you know uh, unseemly I guess it is called unseemly experience um, recently with German cockroaches now the German cockroach is different than other roaches and I can't quite explain to you how they're different so you could probably look it up on a different video, but they are different and they tend to live indoors in warm places. Warm places like refrigerator, behind, underneath refrigerators, dishwashers, uh, washer dryers, um, uh, toasters, coffee pots, any place that is warm. Okay, they live, uh, they live in places that are warm. And, okay, I wanna clear this up too. People who get German cockroaches are not dirty necks. You know, grandma used to call them dirty necks. Oh, you know, those people down the road, they're a bunch of dirty necks. They don't clean their house or they don't take out their garbage. They're dirty necks. Well, you don't have to be a dirty neck to get them because people who are meticulously clean can get them. And I'm going to tell you why, okay? 
because German cockroaches, from my understanding, come in from outside. They don't live outside necessarily, but they come from other places. They can attach to your clothes. They can attach um, to, you know, your box of groceries. They can attach to um, something that you bring in from a store. It depends on, you know, if the place that you were at had them. And so I'm going to tell you my own personal journey with German cockroaches, okay? Quite a long time ago, um, and my home is meticulously clean. I'm very organized. I don't leave crumbs around, nothing like that. But, you know, being that I'm an antique collector and I go to a lot of different places and collect antiques, but it doesn't necessarily mean that I could have got one from there. Okay, I could have got it from the grocery store. You know, when you bring in a cardboard box or even a paper bag, they could be down inside the paper bag. There's no way to really know where you get them from when you get them. Okay, but this is what happens. When you get one, they multiply quickly. So all of a sudden you go from a perfect, clean, meticulous house to seeing bugs and you're going, Oh my gosh, what are these? And usually you're surprised. You're like, okay, I'll just get rid of it, spray it, and that's it. Unfortunately, with these kind of bugs, they multiply quickly. And by the time you see them, they've already gotten under like a refrigerator or something warm. So then you got to begin to pull out things, you know, and you got to begin to look for them. Where are they hiding? Because usually, you know, from the time you brought one in, somehow unknowingly or someone else brought one in you know other people can bring them in too um or a package you get you know you get a package from somewhere and it can be brought in now i'm not trying to make you paranoid because that's not what i'm trying to do i'm trying to explain how german cockroaches can come into your house and so we ended up getting them once upon a time now remember i was shocked because we never had a bug in our life we are clean people we're not the dirty necks okay we are meticulously clean people we take our shoes off at the door we do all of that and somehow most likely it was me that brought it in with an antique or through grocery shopping although it could have been brought in by anybody it could have been brought in from somebody that came to visit we don't know you never ever ever know where you got them from at least most people don't ever know where they got them from or are able to identify it and so i started with all the sprays and you know pulling stuff out doing all that but i finally came to the point where i realized i could not handle it myself so i called the exterminator I actually had two different exterminators working at the same time and um, you know because I wanted to nip that in the bud as grandma would say as grandma would say I don't know if it's nip it in the butt or nip it in the bud but I think it's nip it in the bud <laughs> you wonder where these sayings come from sometimes so what I did is I had two different exterminators and what a lot of people don't realize is that most reputable exterminating companies will give you an in-between visit um, that you're not scheduled for if you request it for free. And so I requested it constantly. I was constantly requesting, you know, even if I didn't see a bug, I requested it to get them back because you don't, once you get rid of them, you don't ever, ever, ever want to get them again. And they're embarrassing because, you know, you can't invite anybody over because you're fear like a bug is going to run by, you know. I mean, it's really, really something. And then you fear that people are going to think you're a dirty neck and you're not. You're, you could be meticulously clean like me. You know, I, I use, um, you know, I use all kinds of wonderful detergents and sprays and all of that and, you know, um, household cleaners. But that's not going to keep them out because there's, it's not a matter of whether you're clean or not clean. They come in from an outside source and they can be brought in in any way. And from, you know, my understanding, talking to the bug man, um, they say that this goes on a lot in places you would not believe. Every kind of office setting can get them because if there's any kind of food around, any kind of source for these um, German cockroaches to eat, to feed off of crumbs, you know, even if you can't see the crumbs, you know, we have crumbs in our toaster, 
you know, they can come from, they, they, they look for that source of food. So if you're in an office setting and people are eating lunch in the office, they can come to the office. You know, in a restaurant, restaurants are, I guess, notorious for getting them. And like I saw, you know, at that one restaurant, I saw a German cockroach. And I was like, oh no, oh no, how awful. And of course I checked everything before I left and made sure, you know, that I wasn't gonna carry one out with me. And um, because they're very, very challenging to get rid of. Some people do their best at using all the, you know, chemicals that they buy, you know, at the store. And I haven't known anybody to be successful with getting rid of them with the chemicals that they buy. I've only known people to be successful by getting an exterminating company. And the reason for that, there's a little bit more to the exterminating than what we think. We think, oh, well, we can just go around spraying, but we're not experts at it. And what I found out through the exterminating companies is that they kind of know where these bugs hide. They hide in little cracks and crevices that we would never even think about. And so they go around putting gels and sprays and all that. And, and, you know, I don't know how healthy this stuff is. I mean, honestly, I really don't. But you, you don't have a whole lot of options. Now, some people have their own way of controlling it. Um, I'm sure there are people out there that have, con you know, eliminated um, German cockroaches on their own. And the reason I'm specifically talking about them because that's really the only one I've ever come in contact with because we've never had bugs, except when you live on an island like we do um, part time for our big, you know, our home, our other home. Um, outside, you get these huge, huge, huge big bugs that run around. I guess they're harmless, but they run around all outside, and everyone's got them. <laughs> when you live on an island, you know, you you kind of get used to them. You just don't want to see them in your house, you know. And uh, but you do see them outside. And and um, so I have not personally known anyone that was able to get rid of them their own selves who is not an expert at bugs. Um, I've only known people to get rid of them through the exterminator company. And usually it takes several months to get rid of them completely 100% because you don't even want to have one bug left because even if you have one bug left, it can multiply again. And usually they'll stay closer to the kitchen or very, very warm sources. Like I said, ovens, toasters, refrigerators, dishwashers, washer and dryers, things like that, um, coffee makers. Um, so you really, really want to be on top of it. If you see one, um, you know, you can treat it yourself if that's what you choose to do because I don't give advice and I don't give suggestions. But I think that ultimately most people resort to an exterminator. And one thing I would recommend is getting the in-between visits for free if it's offered to you. They, they don't usually offer it to you. Um, so you have to kind of ask them for it, but make sure that you get it for free, that in-between visit. And um, so, of course, we got completely rid of them. And, and, you know, because I was right on top of it. As soon as I saw a bug, I was right on top of it, called the exterminating company and everything. But, and I'm always alert to that. You've got to be alert to when you are bringing stuff in. Check your stuff. You know, if you've got a cardboard box or even a paper bag, check it because remember it has nothing to do with your cleanliness it has to do with bringing it in from an outside source that it could be on you could have been at the doctor's office and got one you could have been um at the uh restaurant you could have been at um anywhere really and get one of those so you've got to be very very careful um you know like i said i don't make people paranoid or anything i'm just saying that um i have you know some some communities get hit harder with uh, with cockroaches, like the beach community. They get these, like I said, great big bugs. It's just kind of a part of the way it is. You just don't want them in your house, so you you make sure you get your house sprayed beforehand so they don't come inside the house. But you can't do a whole lot about them on the outside. And um, you know, so it's kind of part of life. Don't ever feel badly like you're you know someone who's dirty or something because you're not. You could be the cleanest person in the world.
and they can happen. And by the time you notice them, there's usually quite a few of them and they've multiplied. So that's why I think it's important to call a professional in. But you know, if you choose to do it yourself, you may have great fortune, you may eliminate them. But one thing is you don't even want to have one left because if you have one left, they can multiply again. Okay. So like I said, I'm not an expert. I don't give advice. I don't give suggestions. I just share with you my experiences in life as I did with this. And, um, and I'm labeling it German cockroaches only because that's the specific kind that I have um, seen around. Um, and uh, so I thought I would talk about it because I think a lot of people do have problems with it and they don't want to talk about it. Okay. So from my house to yours, may God bless you. I do hope you like, share, subscribe to all five of my channels. Links are pinned to the top of the comment section below. May God bless you. And I hope to talk to y'all soon again. So from grandma's beautiful porch and my beautiful day, I hope to talk to you then. Bye-bye. to remember.